Hey everybody, we're back, we're back, we're back. It's the Frustrated Rock Stars. Of course, I'm Justin and he's Jeff. Uh, we got kind of a new location. We're here at a new old location. Uh, a lot of history here. A lot of history here. But a lot of history here. It's our new studio. It's the uh, Cocktail Cove in Sandy Springs. Absolutely. I've seen the smithereens here. I've seen the producers here. Ooh. I've uh, made out with many a fat girl here. <laughs> you know, I, there's a lot of memories and, and, and drama. Uh, we also, uh, in our background here, you'll notice we have Elvis's pelvis, yeah. which I think is just great. I mean, we, you can only see the pelvis, so which is really, have, you know. Good to have the king of rock and roll. Yeah, the king of rock and roll's uh, pelvis is so, hovering <laughs> over us always. So we're doing a uh, talk and roll live on MP4. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, yeah, come on in. Tonight's topic is bands that don't have a definitive best album. He came up with this one. Great okay. topic. So Great topic. Not, it, it, very easy to explain. Basically, sure. if you're a, a Zeppelin fan and someone said to you, what's the best Led Zeppelin album? Could you come up with an answer? Well, if you were 17 and just getting into Zeppelin, you'd say Zeppelin 4. Yeah, but then if you matured a little bit, it may be Physical, physical Graffiti, graffiti or, or the first the album. Outdoor. Zeppelin 4 with Stairway to Heaven. There could be a Coda guy out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, like bands like that that don't have a, they're, they, they're all like, basically where all the albums are, you know, monumental. Obviously Nirvana, but, never mind. Right. Pearl Jam 10. Right. Guns N' Roses. Appetite for Destruction. Right. There's a, you know, they have an album that's ACDC, Back in Black. Yeah, they're kind of in that's that a, gray that's, that's area. A, yeah, they, it's a little gray, but that's pretty much it. That's yeah. their sandbar. Yeah. Um, other bands that, that don't have a, a definitive best album, where you could make an argument that, hey, that this is the best one, or that's the best one. Uh, one of mine is Van Halen. No way. There's no definitive. Van Halen no. Album. I mean, the first no one, 1984. I, I, I'd argue 5150. Or, you did, no. You, know, you could argue any of them. Right. Van Halen too. Um, Fair warning. They're yeah, all, they're all good. Uh, yeah, no, that's a great. That's Motley Crue is another one, and, and that's because 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 each album sounds different. Too. Yeah, right. That's so you yeah. could be a Shadow of the Devil guy, but you could also be a Doctor Feelgood guy. Right, and there's depending a, on the production yeah, value you want. Uh, what about Steely Dan? Would it be Asia? Or? Um, it probably would. Um, yeah. But then again, you know, I'm a kind of a big Steely Dan fan, so but I don't know all their albums because I just have to have the box set which has everything. Well, I think a lot of people just have greatest hits. Right, can, with the, Journey, it's Escape is probably their definitive album, but everybody just has Journey's Greatest right. Hits, and nobody really has individual albums. Right. Go ahead, send me your email. I have every Journey album, but most people, when I, there's a lot of Greatest Hits out. I think uh, CCR, Creedence Clearwater Revival, is another band, you have the Greatest Hits. Right. You don't have individual they don't have CCR albums. Right. right. Billy Joel's like that. Everybody has Billy Joel's Greatest Hits, right. nobody has Turnstiles. Right, right, right. That's an, yeah, that's another. So, so the Greatest of, Hits don't count. But I think, I think for a lot of artists that have a lot of hits over a, a, a lot of years, you get their greatest hits, right. and that becomes their definitive album. The right. Eagles' definitive album is Greatest Hits 1 right. and 2. Right. ZZ Top, Greatest Hits Band. Mm. Nobody has every individual. Well, Eliminator. Eliminator. Right. I guess that would be it. But if you have Eliminator, then you don't have all those other songs. I don't think right. you have all the 70s. If you've got stuff. $10 to invest in your ZZ Top, you get the greatest hits. You get the greatest hits, you don't right. get Eliminator. Right. Whereas with, with Zeppelin, you actually want individual albums, you want all the songs. Right. So there, it's like, well, look at houses. All you're not gonna go out and buy the ZZ or Led Zeppelin's greatest hits. Right. You're gonna go get each individual album. Right. Uh, here's another one that uh, that really sparks a lot of controversy is Metallica. I mean, there are people who think Master of Puppets. Of they don't course, have a definitive album. That's for sure. They don't have a. I'd agree. They don't have a definitive best album. I would say that if you asked everybody, if you took 100 people off the street, 80 of them would say the Black Album. But even amongst Metallica fans. Oh yeah. There's big argument about is it Master Puppets or is it the, the hardcore fans are going to say Master Puppets, right? But why wouldn't those same people say Ride the Lightning or the first album? Again, it's they don't have a definitive best one. They even, with, even amongst the hardcore fans, the hardcore know. fans are going to say a Master Puppets just because I've been around a lot of hardcore <laughs> yeah, Metallica right. fans, and that's their that's <laughs> right. But somehow it all came together on that record for them, and it had Cliff Burton on it. It was. Well, so did Ride the Lightning. I don't I know. know why everyone loves the looks Ride because the Lightning. Because if you look at Ride the Lightning, it has it has some dead tracks on it. There's no dead tracks on Master Puppets. It's just fun to talk about these because these There's are probably the, a Garage Days and a guy out there <laughs> yeah. too. You know? But it's because these are the the cream of the crop bands where you can't decide what's the best album because they have so many good ones. Again, That's why it. Rush, Van Halen, Motley Crue at all is better than Nirvana. The drop off from Nevermind to any other Nirvana album is it, you break your neck. You have to have a parachute, a bungee right. cord, right? <laughs> the drop off from one Van Halen album to another is not a huge drop off. Okay, make an argument for <laughs> Diver Down. But no, even that, no, Van Halen 3 would be the drop off. Oh, yeah, well, that's. It was over. Yeah, we're not counting that. But you see what I'm saying? Like, you go from. An, it's, it's, it's walking a staircase when you're doing Metallica albums. Yeah. But when you're walking Nirvana albums, that next step's a Lulu. Yeah. I mean, you just drop right off. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, Utah wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, but it's, it's not. No one talks about. No it one talks about it. Yeah, no, you know, people still Paul, people still talk about all the albums we talked about, but not. Got our, our Nirvana. So. The people that love Nirvana, they hate us. Yeah, <laughs> boy, they're good. <laughs> well, but we have some people with us. But before we get to common commentary tonight, let's do in the noise. Yeah. All right. So the Osbournes are uh, getting a variety who? show on Fox. Who? The Osbournes, yeah. you say? The Osbournes. I mean, they haven't done enough TV. They Super get, Dave Osborne. They do more. I wish they do more TV shows. So they're doing a variety. Well, Sharon show. Osbourne. She's. I mean. Well, she she's is tenacious. Yeah. We, of course, she's the one in charge of yeah. the whole operation. Uh, so, of the world. Uh, the Writers Guild has instructed members uh, not to work on their show because uh, the Osbournes want to make it look, make it like it's a unscripted show. So the people that work on it, the writers that work on it, only get paid like half. Another one of Sharon's cost-cutting measures. The writers that work on this show may lose their membership privilege or whatever goes along with being in a union, which I don't believe in the first place. So sign it or drop it. Is drop it. Drop it. You got to pay writers. Now, I'm a writer myself, and I hate that. They're always pinching us because everybody thinks they can write, but these are professional writers. You, you got to pay the man. You got to pay the fare. If you're going to have professional writers, if you're going to have a show on television, you got to pay your freight. You got to pay the writers. Why does she have to hire writers guild writers? Why can't you guy hire people? Because that's how it's done. Union? Well, then you know you can change the whole system. That's another topic. Well, maybe she's, right now that's the system. Well, she doesn't have to hire. Well, she has to, they, they won't be able to be members, but she can hire other writers that aren't members of the writers guild and do just the show just as good. She wants to do that. And, if the, and if the show sucks, then she'll realize, hey, I got to pay the writers what they what they're worth. Otherwise, I can find other writers. Well, yeah, you make a good point. But if she's going to use, we're not the writers. You can't, you can't half pay them. Okay, you can't. If she, wants to, if she wants to hire the guy down the street that mows her lawn to write some jokes for her, fine. It. If it but works, if she wants professional writers that have, are proven commodities, right? Then she, she needs pay. to pay. Yes. The, you know, yeah. right? But yeah. all I'm yeah. saying is, I mean, I'm you can have you can have your uh, next door neighbor take your liver out, or you can go to a doctor. Right. I'll I'll go to the doctor and pay. Uh, well, I'm saying is, there's plenty of I'm sure there's plenty of struggle in, in, in entertainment or whatever. I'm sure there's plenty of struggling writers out there that, who aren't in the Writers Guild that could write just as good. You're on That's a slippery slope, though. She's in the business, and you don't want to have the business turn on you, especially right. as deep in the business well, as right. she is. Although Sharon's never shied away from a fight in the business. <laughs> no. And so, she calls a shot, so I don't know. I, I don't like it. I say drop it. I say sign it. I don't like what she does. I don't like her business practices, but if she wants to take on the union, I support her. All right, so we mentioned Nirvana earlier in oh, uh, tonight's episode. Oh, we're so and, sorry. Um, I don't know why Nirvana's like... No, comes here's up. someone who agrees with us. Oh, someone agrees Scotland. with us. Scotland. Mark from Edinburgh. Scotland. Scotland. Hey guys, just watch your Legacy of Nirvana video. Of course, you can check Thanks, that out buddy. on YouTube or wherever. It's it's on there. It, it's there. Uh, and agree with your comments 100%. 100%. I do have respect for Curtain Company, but they were overrated. Yes. Stone Temple Pilots and Sound Garden were better bands. We were saying that you know, Nirvana was overrated. I could agree with myself thing. more. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's, he's right. It's, it's just Scott. good to see. Mark. Mark. Mark from Scotland. Mark, thank you very much. <laughs> is it Scott from Markland? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I'm just saying. He's you, right. You, you won't. Soul Temple Pilots is better than Nirvana. Can, can we all agree on that? Well, I bet you Dave Grohl would agree with that. <laughs> well, the Foo Fighters are better. Foo Fighters are The Queens of the Stone Age? Nah. Mm, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, but it's good to see. You, know, you won't see this on VH1, but there are people out there who, you know, Nirvana didn't really was, like Nirvana. Nirvana was okay. Yeah. They had one great album. They had, they had a cool look. And they, they started, you know, they, they started a trend. Playing, but give them all their let's due. Let's just, everybody relax. Everybody relax with the Nirvana already. So. And, and he's right. And Soundgarden had the best singer of the genre. And the Stone Temple Pilots were the best band and the best songs. Yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot. Uh, we have fans in Scotland. Yes, thank you so much. I'll have Mark. a black and tan for you. And uh, uh, if you got something to say, please uh, email us info at thefrustratedrockstars.com. Yes. yes, email us, please. Or go to YouTube, go to our website. We're everywhere. Comments, we're yes. not hard to find. No, we're not. You know, we're you ubiquitous. Know. We're ubiquitous. Like yeah, like, you know, it's like a black man in Harlem. We're everywhere. So, thank you so much for joining us. And until uh, we see you next time, please enjoy your music. Professor Stallone, 1978. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, you know. <laughs>